So now that we're starting to go back out in public again, we have to stay on our A game when it comes to looking good. And yes, I know it's been months sitting on the couch, not having to care about looking good. But guys, it's time. If you're going to go out, you're going to have to get back on that grind. But like me, you might be a little rusty because, you know, it's been so long. So I did my research to give you guys the breakdown of all the trends that you need to know right now. All right, for number one, we got streetwear. So streetwear has always been growing popularity each year, but at the same time, the styles have also been changing each year. So right now, the popular streetwear brands and styles is Kenzu Streetwear, Samurai Streetwear, Kamikaze Streetwear, these city Japanese styles are really what's popping off right now. And I know some of you are probably saying, Samurai, streetwear, Ken Kenzu, Kenzu, Kenzu streetwear. And trust me, I didn't even know what these were until I started doing some research. And I've actually seen some that I just didn't know about, which is probably the same case as you guys. But I've been putting up pictures so you get the look of what the type of vibe is. And I know they're relatively new when it comes to popularity, but you don't have to necessarily buy their clothing to achieve that look. So you can get like a shirt or a jacket that has similar logos with like ripped jeans or joggers. And my guy, you'd be looking pretty badass. All right, for number two, we have satin clothing. That glossy and shiny look from satin is what's getting really big in 2020. And you don't have to wear satin itself. You can wear something that either has like a percentage of it or something else that has that shiny look. And satin outfits are kind of giving off a futuristic vibe. They have the shiny look, which is definitely the more modern look that's going right now. And I'm not telling you to literally be as shiny as soap, you know, as shiny as lip gloss. You can mix it. You can wear a little bit of like satin mixed with like shorts that are normal. If you don't want to be so out there, so into the trend because you think you're going to look ridiculous, just get a little shine because the little shine is going to show a little bit of detail. And for number three, we got the off-white look. And, and I'm usually pretty opposed to the high piece looks, but this is not necessarily all off-white. You know, you can mix it like if you have one piece that's off-white. I mean, you could technically mix it if you have all pieces of off-white. I usually like to say that it doesn't make sense to spend all this money if you don't have the money, you know, because you could get much better outfits that are so much cheaper. Uh, if you want to do an off-white look, this is classic, you know, like you're wearing the name brands, it's just the off-white. There's not really too much to say about this. You can just kind of see here, this look, this look, this look, this look, or you can just see, I mean, even I have my own. And obviously in this video, I'm messing around, trying to look all hyped up and everything. But the point is, it's a pretty basic look. You just gotta know how to match your colors and basically just set. All right guys, for number four, we have the Roaring Twenties look. And in case you don't know this, this is basically just wearing similar styles to the 1920s. I'm not gonna get behind this look because I think it looks pretty ridiculous in our time, but maybe in certain occasions it can look good. And honestly, there are some people that do kind of pull it off when they take some things and they don't do the whole look themselves. But so basically it's the Great Gatsby look. You wear a pinstripe suit, overall sometimes, you know, a bow tie, you know, you know, you wear the nice Oxford shoes, you know, some things you can take out and you can put into your style. And if you're going somewhere nice, like you have to be very, very professional. Hey, you're probably gonna be looking great. And finally, for number five, you got your rusty color. You're gonna wear your burgundies, your dark greens, your rusty browns, those type of rustic colors. And the good thing about these is that you can mix them together and they all basically fit together. Like a dark green and a burgundy go looks good together. A dark green and the rusty brown looks good together. And the look of this is usually kind of rugged, which is obviously a very popular look, with like the lumberjack look, or even like people with like leather jackets, you know, it has like that rugged, tough look so basically you wear darker shades of brown red and green and even some other colors and you're gonna get this nice rugged look all right guys that's the end of the video now you know some of the trends i recommend that you try some i recommend that you stay away from others specifically the 1920s unless you think you can pull it off but anyway thank you for watching you know make sure to like the video make sure to hit a good old subscribe for your brother here also make sure to check out my instagram at refined style man with that being yeah. said stay classy and rap i'm a scholar hey. rapping degree so i'm making the profit, profit. i want every dollar what? i ice on my neck so i'm covered in water yeah. i'm getting harder huh? i practice my craft so i'm getting stronger Strong. so thanks for the honor yeah. this is my story yeah. i am the author reap what i sow when i sow what i reap haven't dropped so they said i was sleep finish this then it's back to the